this interview is being presented by Intimidation Clothing. Impose your will. Uncivilize. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be a beast among men. Adrenaline Training Center. Up your game. Change the way you train. TheDailyPunch.net. Have you gotten your Daily Punch? Area 51 Fight Gear and MMA Mind Power. Late Night MMA Radio is live Monday and Thursdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Call into the show to win MMA merchandise. www.latenightmma.com. Join the revolution. Yeah, man, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. What's going on tonight? Oh, not a whole lot. Uh, just got just got in from uh, having a bite to eat with my strength coach and uh, getting ready to jump in the shower. Good stuff, man. So, uh, talk us through your last fight in the UFC. Ah, uh, the Benavides fight. I mean, uh, it's kind of I just just didn't let go. You know, I, I didn't do what I needed to do to win, and um, you know, I, I just kind of handed in the fight, I guess. Right, man, and you've had uh, some stiff competition in your last few fights. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, I, I, I'm not here to fight the uh, the up and comers. You know, um, I, I think I pretty well established myself in the in the division, and um, sure. you know, I, I I don't think that I should be fighting the up and comers. I, I think that you know I should be fighting the big names, and and I think every fight that I've had, uh, it was well deserved. And and I mean, obviously they didn't finish me; they didn't do any real damage. So uh, you know, that's 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 right where I need to be. You know, I'm running with the pack. Yeah, for sure. Now, uh, when can we expect to see you back in the cage? Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pushing real hard for a summer show. Um, you know, I, I I was supposed to fight uh, Johnny Bedford in Chicago in January, but uh, right. unfortunately I sprained my ACL and I sprained my ankle, and uh, about three weeks before that I got into a car crash, you know, so it, it, wow, it just... <laughs> Yeah, it, it was just uh, something that wasn't supposed to happen. So, um, you know, not everything's good now. I've been wrestling, I've been grappling, I've been doing the boxing, and, uh, you know, everything feels good. So now it's just it's just a matter of me bugging them enough to where they they say just, all right, we'll let you fight. Just leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Maybe you were meant to pull out of the fight after that car crash, eh? Yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. And, you know, and it's, I, uh, I, I must have had God on my side or something. I mean, I got into a 60-mile-an-hour head-on collision, and I walked away with a sprained wrist. Oh, wow, dude. That's yeah, amazing. It, was, it was wild. I mean, it, it was uh, it was, it was probably one of the uh, gnarliest things that's ever happened to me. Oh, yeah, man. So uh, what's the hardest part about being a mixed martial artist? Um, Time management, man. I... Uh, <laughs> Trying to trying to get everything done around the house, trying to to train and trying to do everything that you need to do. I mean, I hold a full time job as well, so I mean, between trying to keep the house in one piece and and get my training in and still do my job, and it's just I, I could have forty hours in a day and still not have enough uh, enough time. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So, uh, what type of job do you have? Uh, full time firefighter. Well, that's cool. A lot of guy, a lot of MMA fighters are into that, eh? Yeah, you know, it, it. It. I mean, the schedules kind of go hand in hand. Um, you know, I only work about a hundred to a hundred and ten days a year, so I, I mean, it's really like having two full time jobs. You know, I'm I'm full time fighter and a full time firefighter, so uh, you know, they, they go hand in hand. They're both physical jobs, and and they encourage you to stay in good physical shape on the department. So, you know, it, it like I said, it just it goes hand in hand. Hey okay, man, so uh, where are you training at, and who are some of the guys that get you prepared for your fights? Um, and there's uh, two gyms that I train out of. Uh, main gym is in Chicago, right on the north side of Chicago. It's uh, New Breed Jiu Jitsu, and then uh, I train at a place here, right, right down the street from me, uh, Doolin Valley Tudo. Uh, Darren Elkins trains there. Uh, Keith Wisniewski, a couple of guys in the UFC. Um, you know, my my main trainers uh, in the Chicago is Mark Vivas and Bob Hemrich. They uh, they kind of head up my camps, and uh, you know, I've been with them for a few years now, and and been doing nothing but improving. Okay, and when you have a fight, uh, who's in your corner? Uh, there's Mark Vivas, Bob Hemrich, and Keith Wisniewski. Oh, yeah, man. Um, as far as the weight cut goes, have you ever had a problem, and how much weight do you have to cut? Um, I've never had a problem. On, well, I shouldn't say I've never had a problem. I've never missed weight. It's always a problem getting down there. I mean, I, I right. walk around. Uh, I'm about 154 pounds right now. Um you know, it's, and that's that's about normal. When, when I'm when I'm training real heavy, I walk around about 150. Um, 
you know. So I, I, I've never missed weight in, in 26 fights. So, right. You know, that's just uh, it's, it's the tough part is getting down there. That's for sure, man. Okay, one question uh, left for you. What's your greatest accomplishment so far in your MMA career? Um, greatest, I mean, I, I, I think I've done a few things that are, that are, you know, recognizable as far as winning, you know, being the first WEC champ, but also you sure. know, being picked being picked up by the UFC. I think, uh, you know, only the select few get to do what I, what I've done. And, uh, I'm just, I'm happy to be there. You know, I'm, I'm at the upper echelon of, of what I do. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm having a good time doing it and I'm getting paid well to do it. For sure, man. Well, we look forward to seeing you back in the cage, and hopefully we can talk to you again before your fight. Absolutely, man. Anytime. You know, I'm I'm always open as long as i got the time. Good deal, man. So uh, do you want to throw out a sponsor or promote your Twitter or Facebook? Uh, yeah, I mean, my Twitter is just, you can follow me at Eddie Wineland. Um, nothing fancy, UFC, MMA, none of that crap. Just my name. Um, you know, and then just the gyms I train at, uh, Mark v- or Mark Vivas and uh, New Breed and Keith Wisniewski there at Duneland. And, uh, you know, I, I know uh, I'm, I'm dealing with a new manager now, so uh, that's, uh, you know, it, it seems to all be going good. You know, KO reps, and uh, so far, so good. Good stuff, man. Thanks for taking Absolutely. the time. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Okay, bye. Take care.